Now, it's health, and we have Dr. Sharon Enemo. Now, she's a well-grounded and experienced optometrist, and uh, today, we're talking about red eyes. Doctor, it is great to have you. You're welcome. It's a pleasure. Your glasses are not here today. You didn't come oh, with the glasses no, today. Come with my glasses. Okay, good. So, red eye. Everybody has had or still has it. There are some that is constant red. <laughs> there are some people that have constant red, and then we tend to, you know, we tend to uh, say it's maybe due to smoking and some others and all of that, but... What exactly, what are the most probable causes of red eye? Well, red eye has numerous causes, really. Mm. And in the clinic, it's one of the common symptoms we see. Mm. But you see, red eye could be caused by so many things. Some are not serious, and some are actually medical emergency cases. Mm. So yes, red eye could be caused by bacterial, it could be caused by chlamydia, could be caused by allergies, could be caused by dryness, could also be caused by long-time exposure to gadgets, Mm. Like we talked about the last yes, time. Yes, exactly. Could be caused by sunlight exposure, to long sunlight. exposure to sunlight. Yeah, so there are many causes. It could also be caused by serious conditions such as uh, arthritis, glaucoma. Mm. These are all causes of red eye. So the problem now becomes how do you differentiate between all of this? What causes the red eye? Just before we get into that, can there be a natural red eye? Somebody who is naturally, naturally. Nope. The only persons you're most likely going to see with some sort of uh, people that have albinism because they okay. lack melanin. Melanin, okay. So you know that tends to be the color of the, their eyes are a little more transparent than every other person's and okay. we get to see their blood vessels come through okay. when you look at them. So okay. it seems like they have red eyes, but nobody is born with a red eye. Mm, so there can be no natural red eye. There isn't a natural Before we get into eye. those other ones now, how about cases of... Um, Inebriation, when somebody is drunk or maybe, you know, as it were, maybe someone smokes and all of that, are those, do they directly cause red eyes? Understand that red eye is caused when there is a dilation of the blood vessels in the eye. Okay. And that could be caused, that is most likely caused really when there is a congestion of the blood vessels. Hmm. Congestion could be caused by many things. Hmm. So yes, can smoking in a way cause red eye? Not exactly, but the environment where you are at that time. You know, when people smoke, oh, okay, the air is okay, saturated, the air is saturated it dries up the eye, that. prevents a lot of oxygen from getting into the eye. So that's so the secondary redness. smoke, not yes, the primary it's one. It's not the primary. So the primary one cannot cause red eye, no, even if it it's a dangerous cause, substance. It, it, well, you know, like I said to you, things like uh, marijuana. Okay. Yes, because there's a congestion of blood vessels. There's a spike. The blood flow to the vessels are more. Are uh, more. So it makes the eye more re reddish. More red. That's where okay. you see the reddish. That's where you see it. So yes. even uh, hard drugs That's where and all of that. That's where you see the yes, reddish because and all of that. the blood vessels dilated. Blood is moving and is, you know, moving through a normal sized place and more than mm. usual blood is trying to pass through. It dilates, causes redness of the eye. Wow, wonderful. Now, uh, let's get back to what we're talking about when it's medically induced and all of that. How do you differentiate between all of them? I know diagnosis is important. How do you go about it? Well, when we have someone in the clinic, for example, I have someone seated at my desk and I'm trying to know why there's a red eye. There are a series of questions I'll ask. I'd like to know what preempted the red eye. The red eye. Some will tell you I have symptoms like uh, mucus coming out of my eye. Mm. There's a red flag for me. I'm beginning to do elimination series. Some mm. will tell you I have watery discharge. Some will tell you my eye feel gritty, like I've got sand in my eye. Some will actually tell you something went into my eye. My eyes. So yes, these are the yes. things that cause redness. Some could also tell you, oh, I slept. Yesterday something went into my eye. I was okay. I slept and I woke up. And, and this morning is different. And I begin to question what got into your eye. Could this be a chemical reaction to whatever it is that had got into the eye the day before? The day before. Yeah, so there are many causes of red eye. So for a doctor, yeah. You take your time. You see, it's a common symptom, and most times, people take it for granted. Oh, yes, yes. You see, their signs, it will go. Yes, it will, go. it will go. It will go. Yes, most of them go. Most go. But there are some that don't go. And there are red flags that when you have them, don't say it will go. When you see that the redness is not going, a day, two days after, the eye is still red. Go see your eye doctor. It's important. Mm. When you notice that your vision is changing. It's changing. It's getting worse. I could see this beautiful tree and then suddenly it's looking blood today. I should go see my doctor. My doctor. When I feel pains in my eyes, when I roll my eyes, I feel pains in my eyes. Mm. It's a worrisome case. I should go see my doctor. Uh, 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 so for me, I'll get to, my, to a personal issue now, but well, how about cases where a patient cannot really describe what is happening to them? Yeah, test. Because... Okay, exactly. That's why you now have to run tests. All cases that come in with the red eye, they are tests you run. 
Okay. But like I said, it starts with the conversation you have, you have with, the with the patient. patient. While okay. having that conversation, you do like a, a diagnosis elimination series. series you know, yes. use that, and then primarily, primarily narrow down to the sort of test you will run for someone. Okay, so uh, how about a case where the eye is red? I think this might be due to ex exposure from screens and all of that. And um, there are times when I, you close the eye and then you feel pepper, heat. Pepper. It's, yeah, not, not peppery per se, but it's like it's hot. More, more hot than peppery, you know. And uh, how? Let's 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 have a diagnosis now. How does that one? What what could be what could be causing it? It is most likely exposure, exposure to gadgets. To gadgets. Understand that when you're seated before a gadget, your phone, your laptop, and you're looking at it, your blinking level reduces. Yeah. We're having this conversation, we're looking at each other. Yeah. Involuntarily, involuntarily, you're blinking two, exactly. three, four times. four times. But when you're on a gadget, you're staring. You're staring. And you blink you're less. Fixed. You blink, okay. And when your gaze is fixed, more light goes into the eye, the UV rays, and they dry up the surface of the cornea. Hmm. Understand for vision to work properly, the eyes must be well lubricated. Now, when you're staring, you don't lubricate the eye enough. That blink doesn't lubricate the eye enough. And when you finally, you've finished your two, three, four hours before the system and you look away and you close the eye. Remember you said close yeah. the eye. You're trying to force tears now to come and lubricate the eyes. So that's that where that heat. Wow. Some will tell you it's hot. Some will tell you, oh, it feels like I have pepper in my eyes. Yeah. This is dryness of the eye. Dryness of the that. eye. Yes. That's Did, let me just, I just need to ask this question. So you're looking at the screen. Mm -hmm. Everywhere is dark. How important is it having another source of light while you are watching the screen? For a basic knowledge, when you're on a screen, either a dark room or a lighted room, your screen light should be slightly brighter than every other light. It should be brighter. Okay. Not darker. Okay. Because that balances it out with the environment. Okay. If it's too dark, you strain more to see. Mm. When it's well lighted, you see with ease. So there's less glare for the eye. Mm. So it's important. So if I was at home at night and everywhere is dark? Don't put everywhere dark and have your screen on. No, it's not good. Have it well lit and your screen lit. Okay, how about dark mode on your phone? Dark mode for some persons, they have astigmatism. There are people who they have a physiologic condition, astigmatism. Okay. So they have uh, irregular curvature of the cornea. So when light that ought to travel on a straight line hits their own cornea, instead of going straight, there's a diffusion. So it causes distortion of vision. Okay. For such persons, we actually advise reduce the uh, the, the, the light, okay. the mode of your phone, your phone or your gadget, that. so that you try to mm. narrow down the light to a, a straight beam to give comfort. Doctor, we could spend one hour talking. There is just There's so, so much. much. As we're eyes. going, there, there are more questions getting in. Red eyes, well, hopefully, we will have you, and we'll have you next time, and then we'll get to talk about more of these ones. Always be a pleasure. To it's come. a pleasure also having you. Nice Thank you so much, you. Doctor. Okay. All right.